Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a cozy and sort of productive fall vlog. I feel like fall in general is a super cozy season, and so with that, I wanted to make like a cozy vlog. I don't have anything planned where I'm like going out and doing things. This is more just like a cozy stay-at-home vlog. Today is Sunday, October 23rd, so I wanted to get this video filmed before fall ends because I feel like when it hits November, even though we still have Thanksgiving, I just kind of feel like it's time for Christmas. So I wanted to get this video filmed for you guys. I do want to thank Stationary Pal for sponsoring this video, but you guys will hear more about them later. And actually, I'm pretty sure this video is posting on Halloween, which is like perfect timing. And yes, you guys will be getting a Halloween vlog, so stay tuned for that. Yesterday, I went to Target with my mom for our weekly grocery shopping, and I went and looked around the store. First off, they already have their Christmas decoration, which I'm so excited for, but I felt it was a little too early to buy some stuff. I did end up buying another candle. I literally bought one like two weeks ago, maybe, but this one is Cozy Nights, which could be a fall slash winter scent. And actually I got like a mini version of this exact scent from Target in a secret Santa gift in sixth grade, which now that I think about it was four years ago. And I have not seen the scent yet. And obviously I used up that candle. It just smells cozy, which makes sense because that's the name. But like when I saw that they brought this scent back in a big one, I had to buy it. So I bought this one at Target yesterday. It smells amazing and I'm so excited to use it. And I also had the idea to bake because I saw a few TikToks yesterday of people baking like pumpkin baked goods and stuff and that kind of inspired me and I've been kind of craving something like that so I found this recipe and I printed it out yesterday for easy pumpkin muffins and I'm gonna make them and then I know my mom wanted to make cream cheese frosting that she'll put in the middle of some of them but they just sounded so good so we're gonna make these today too I printed out this recipe I'll link it down below if you guys are interested allegedly it's easy which is good because obviously I'm not a professional baker but it says that they'll be easy so yeah we'll do this later as well also so I have not decorated my room for fall and I'm not gonna go like all out because I feel like it's a little too late to go all out But I do want to put some of my fall stuff up. So we're gonna do that today as well I'm just super excited for this vlog because I feel like I've needed this type of vlog for a while Like just a chill one. So as you guys saw I did like a tiny bit of makeup this morning really just to get myself ready for the day It's already noon and I just wanted to get myself a little more put together for today But yeah, I'm really excited to film this video. So let's get started before we do anything I want to show you guys my outfit because I just feel like it totally fits the whole cozy fall vibe. So first I'm just wearing this plain black tank top that just has like these three buttons. I believe I got this from PacSun. I'm not exactly sure but it is super comfy. But then I have these pants and I feel like they are so so comfy and cute. I got them from Zaffle. They're like this super fluffy and soft. I don't know if this is called Sherpa but it might. They're just like beige. They are so so comfy and I specifically picked them out to wear today for this video. I think the first thing that I want to do for this video is decorate my room for fall because then I feel like it'll kind of put me in the whole mood if that makes sense So I have this bin here and this bin has all of my like festive decorations for fall and winter And I don't know if you can tell but it's literally like about to burst I can barely shut it all of my Christmas stuff is on top since that was the last stuff that I used from last year So I'm gonna have to kind of dig to the bottom to find all of my fall decorations Okay, so I know I have a few more fall decorations at the bottom of this bin, but they're really hard to get out and I don't want to take out all my Christmas stuff. So I'm just going to stick with my pumpkins. So I have this like medium sized one and then I have this pack of all of these fun mini pumpkins. So I'm just going to use these to decorate. I do have some orange and purple string lights in here that I could use, but I have a bunch of like LED lights already around my room. So I feel like I don't need them.
All right, so I have placed my pumpkins in different places around my room. I've also put the new candle on my desk. I'm so excited for nighttime in my room because then I can turn on all of my LEDs and stuff and it'll be so cute. What I think I wanna do now is just finish up my homework for today. I honestly didn't have too much homework over this weekend, but I know I still have some left to get done before tomorrow and I wanna get that done as early as possible. So I'm gonna do that now. Before I start my homework, I did want to kind of change out some of the stuff that I have in my pencil case just because I got some new supplies to put in here and they are from Stationery Pal So I do want to thank Stationery Pal again for sponsoring this video Stationery Pal is holding a ton of Black Friday and Double Eleven events where they release hundreds of new products Thousands of products are having up to a 50% off discount They're gonna have some new packaging and gifts and they are going to be holding some giveaways All of these great deals and giveaways will be running from November 1st to November 29th And I am actually holding a giveaway with Stationery Pal as well, but before I give you guys the details for that giveaway let me show you guys some of the things they sent me first they sent me a few packs of post-its we have a yellow one and a blue one and then also another pack of these transparent ones which are so helpful for annotating books and textbooks where you can't write on the page with these you can and they're just super helpful and then for my bullet journal I needed a new one of these glue tape dispenser things I don't know what they're called but I used one that I had a while ago from them so I got a new one basically it's like those whiteout like rollers but instead of it being being white out it's like this glue tape so you can stick things to it I don't know what it's called I think it's just glue tape but they are super helpful for projects and stuff and then they did also send me a mini one which is super helpful to put in my pencil case then they sent over this super like sleek looking mechanical pencil this one has 0.5 millimeter lead which I personally prefer over 0.7 and it just looks super sleek and nice to write with so with that they did also send some lead refills which is so helpful and then they sent over two of these Zebra Sarasa 0.5 millimeter black pens. These are my absolute favorite pens. I love them. I currently have one in my pencil case for school and it's starting to run out of ink because I've done so much writing this year. And so having these two is amazing. I love these pens. I would highly suggest. And so with that, they also sent me a pack of the pens in all of these colors. Literally just look at all of the colors that are in here. They are all 0.5 millimeter, which like I said, I like. And then lastly, they did also send me a pack of the zebra mild liner highlighters these are like the trendy ones look how big this pack is you literally get every possible color in here and then this pack also comes with an extra like brush pen in this like teal color so yeah that's the stationery that they sent if you guys are interested in purchasing from them you can use my code Alyssa darland in all caps for 18 percent off your order and as i previously mentioned i am holding a giveaway with them this giveaway is us only and the winner will receive stationery pals bullet journal set in the color coffee. Here's a picture of what it looks like and what it includes. As you guys know, I have a bullet journal of my own and sets like this are so helpful for creating different presets or themes for each month. And this one definitely matches the fall theme. So I really like it. The rules for this giveaway are you have to subscribe to Stationery Pals YouTube channel, which I will link in the description down below and subscribe to my channel. To enter, send an email to my business email, which is on the screen right now. I feel like in the past when you guys have commented your Instagram or your email, there have been some like scammer people replying to your comments saying that it's me that you're winning when it's really not and they're probably going to do it on this video anyways but I just feel like it's much safer and easier if you guys just email me and more people can enter if you don't have Instagram so just shoot me an email at my business email which like I said it's right here on the screen and in your email let me know what your favorite place to buy stationery is if you are under 13 years old make sure you have a parent's permission to enter this giveaway and this giveaway will be closed and the winner will be contacted on Monday November 7th so make sure to enter while you can. Please remember that although this giveaway is US only and there's one winner, Stationery Pal has many more giveaways on their website that they're doing as well. So make sure to go check them out. I would highly, highly recommend. Thank you so much to Stationery Pal for sponsoring this video and for sending me everything. I'm literally so excited to use all of these things while I'm doing homework and schoolwork and all that kind of stuff. So now let's get started with my homework. When you're not near, I don't feel like I do when you're with me. It felt like suddenly our souls collided, hearts entwined. When I decided to make you mine, I'm never going. 
Okay, so those notes literally are so tiring for AP Euro. Literally any AP history class has so many notes. Usually for our assignments, we have like five pages of reading max, which is still kind of a lot because like the pages have so much text. But this weekend, my teacher decided to assign us 10 pages and it's all about science in history, which to me is not very interesting. So literally we have like these pages all filled with notes, these ones, and these ones. And that took me forever. Also, I don't know why this lighting looks different for some reason, but it is currently around 1.45 and I figured that since I've been sitting here for so long, we should go bake some muffins. Okay, so it's like four o'clock. That took me about an hour. They just came out of the oven. They're cooling on the cooling rack. My mom is gonna make cream cheese frosting that she's gonna stuff in half of these. And then these two are gonna have cream cheese frosting on top, but they look so good. I am so excited to try them later, but they definitely need to cool. They're super hot. One thing that I definitely wanna do right now while all of the muffins are cooling and it's not exactly dinner time is go through all of my like school stuff so far this year and transfer it. I have have this really big binder I think it's like three inches from some past school year and it's like empty and this is the binder that I'm currently using for school I use it for all of my classes and then I have separate notebooks for classes if I need to but this is just where I store the paper and this is only one inch but it's starting to get super full like there is barely any more room in the rings to put stuff and now that it's obviously the end of October I've gone through a few units in each class so I can start taking papers out of here I don't want to throw them away because I'll definitely need them for final so I'm just gonna transfer some stuff from each class out of my current binder into this one so I can keep it at home and clear up space in this binder and then also any papers that I keep inside the notebooks and then after that I'm gonna go through my pencil case take out any highlighters or pens that are dead or broken and just put in some of the new stuff that I got from stationery pal earlier <laughs> Okay, so my camera battery actually died while I was doing that. So you guys didn't really get to see the rest of all of my organizing, but I did reorganize my pencil case as well. I added more pens and a few more highlighters so I would have more color options at school. That's what it looks like on the inside. I did finish organizing my binder as well, but I think my mom made dinner. I think we're having orange chicken and rice. So I'm gonna go down and eat that. I kind of want to do some self-care after dinner just to kind of wind down before this week, but we'll see what happens after dinner so let's go eat
Okay guys, so I just showered. This is honestly the earliest I've showered in a long time. It is currently 7.32 and I wanted to shower early. One, because I was kind of bored, like I didn't really have anything to do. And two, because I just wanted time, like I said earlier, to just sit down, do some self care. So before I do a face mask, I'm just gonna do my normal skincare. For my face mask today, I decided to do this overnight sleep mask from Timmy Blends. I love this one, especially after a shower because I can just leave it on and it really moisturizes my skin. And as the weather's getting like colder and the air is getting really dry, my skin could definitely use some extra moisture. So we're gonna do this. I have my little brush from Timmy Blends as well to apply it. After I let it soak in for a little bit, then I go over it with a jade roller, which this was in my mini skincare fridge, so it's nice and cool. And it just like feels amazing. And while I sit with the face mask for a little bit. I'm gonna start reading this book. I really need to start reading more. I just feel like I don't have a lot of time. I bought this book before the school year started to start reading and this is called Every Last Word. I wasn't actually planning on buying it at Barnes and Nobles, but while I was there, this girl in like the book aisle pointed it out and said this is her favorite book of all time. So I decided to try it. It looked interesting. It is a thick book. Like I'm not a big reader, so like this is pretty thick for me. We'll see if I finish it within a month or two. I don't know. But I kind I just wanted to start it to have something to read. Okay, so my sleeping mask has soaked in a pretty good amount. You can see it's still kind of shiny in some places, but I'm just gonna let it soak in basically until I go to sleep. I'm currently on like the second or third chapter of this book, and so far it's pretty good. Obviously nothing very interesting has happened, but I do like the story of it so far. So I'm definitely gonna try to keep reading it. It's about eight o'clock now, and I definitely wanna go try one of the pumpkin muffins I made earlier. 